Hello good dear viewers, in this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this trigonometric equation which is cosine of 3 theta equal to negative 1. Theta is from 0 down to 360 degrees. I am going to show you two different ways on how to solve this, the harder way and the simple way. Let's start with the harder way. In the first approach, I am going to introduce some identities. So let me take cosine of 3 theta and simplify it before we equate it to negative 1. So if you have cosine of 3 theta, you should know that this can also be written as cos of 2 theta plus theta because 2 theta plus theta is the same thing as 3 theta. So what can you remember about double angle for cosine? Remember if you have cosine of let's say x plus y this is the same thing as cosine of x multiplied by cosine of y minus um, sine of x multiplied by sine of y, right? So if you apply the same thing for which 2 theta here is our x and theta is our y, which implies that um, cosine of 3 theta is the same thing as what cosine of 2 theta multiplied by cosine of theta right so we have cosine of 2 theta multiplied by cosine of theta then minus sine of 2 theta multiplied by sine of theta sine of 2 theta sine of theta then you should remember that this is also a double angle. This is another double angle. So we can still write this one as cosine of 3 theta equal to. For cosine of 2 theta, it is the same thing as what? Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So we have cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Then you multiply by this cosine theta outside minus but for sine 2 theta it's the same thing as 2 sine theta cos theta so we have 2 sine theta cos theta then you multiply by sine theta which is outside sine theta this is equal to, if you take this, you multiply by this, that will give us cos tat of theta, cos to the power of 3 of theta, minus this time this, that will give us just sine squared theta cos theta, sine squared theta cos theta. Then we have minus, if you multiply this together, you have a, 2 sine squared theta cos theta. 2 sine squared theta cos theta. That's what we have. And we have some like terms here. You can see sine squared theta cos theta negative. And we have negative 2 sine squared theta cos theta making negative 3 sine squared theta cos theta. So this is equal to cos cube of theta minus 3 sine squared theta cos theta and remember that let me introduce another identity if you have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta this will give us one so we can make sine squared theta here the subject sine squared theta will be one minus cosine squared theta so instead we can replace this one with 1 minus cosine squared theta. So this is equal to cosine cube of theta minus 3 multiplied by 1 minus cosine squared theta. Remember, we still have a, another cos theta outside. So this is equal to cosine cube of theta. I can introduce this inside. We have minus... Uh, Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 times cosine theta. That is minus 3 cosine theta. The minus minus is plus. Cosine squared theta times cos theta is cosine cube theta times 3 is 3 
cosine cube theta. You see, we have cosine cube theta. We have three cosine cube theta, making four of them. So this is four cosine cube theta. Then minus um three cosine theta. So we have finished simplifying cosine three theta. But remember that cosine three theta is equal to negative one, right? Yeah, you can see that right here which implies that this is the same thing as negative 1. So this is the equation we need to solve instead of this. So we can bring negative 1 inside. We have 4 cosine 3 theta minus 3 cosine theta uh, plus 1. This is equal to 0. Let x be equal to cosine theta which means that x to the third power is equal to cosine cube of theta. So if we substitute, this becomes 4x to the third power minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. This is a cubic equation. And how can we factorize it? Um, we can carry out rational root test. Um, let's test for 1. If x is 1, we have 1 to the third power. It's still 1 times 4 is 4. Then 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 plus 1. If this gives us 0, it means that uh, 1 is a root. So 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So this will not work. What if x is negative 1? We have 4 negative 1 to the third power minus 3 negative 1 plus 1 will this give us 0 so we have this negative 1 to the third power is still negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 negative negative is positive 3 times 1 is 3 then plus 1 this will give us negative 1 plus 1 is 0 so hence this is 0 which implies that um, x equal to negative 1 is a root so x equal to negative 1 is a root and this implies that x plus 1 is a factor so if x plus 1 is a factor we can divide 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1 by this to obtain the other factor let's carry out long division This factor comes outside, x plus 1, and you take this one inside, we have 4x to the third power. x to the second power is missing, so I can write 0x to the second power. We have minus 3x to the first power, then plus 1. x can divide 4x cubed exactly 4x squared times. You take this, you multiply by this, that will give us 4x cubed. 4x squared times 1 is 4x squared. You write it here. 4x squared. Then we subtract. This minus this is 0. This minus this is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x squared. Now I'll bring down the rest. Negative 3x plus 1. Then you repeat the same thing, x into negative 4x squared, that will give us negative 4x. Then take this, you multiply by this, that will give us negative 4x squared. Negative 4x times 1 is negative 4x. You subtract again. This minus this is 0. Negative 3 minus negative 4 that is negative 3 plus 4 that is 1 that is x you bring down the 1 then x into x is 1 you write 1 here then 1 times x is x 1 times 1 is 1 you subtract you get 0 then you stop then this implies that this is the other factor right so therefore, um, this 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1, let me write it here. 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1 is the same thing as x plus 1 
multiply by this other factor which is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 and this is a perfect squared quadratic expression which can also be factorized this is x plus 1 to factorize this we have 2x minus 1 squared 2x minus 1 squared but remember that the whole of this was equal to 0 therefore we can equate the whole of this to be 0 which implies that if this is equal to 0 the first factor we have x um, okay let me just write it plus 1 equal to 0 which means x is equal to negative 1 and from the other factor which is 2x minus 1 whole squared 2x minus 1 whole squared if it is equal to 0 by take a square root of both sides you have 2x minus 1 equal to 0 this means that x is equal to 1 over 2 if you take negative 1 to the other side it becomes positive then you divide both sides by 2 so you have x equal to um, 1 over 2 but remember that x was what cosine theta so let's bring it back recall that x is equal to cosine theta but x is either negative 1 or 1 over 2 so we have two equations to solve so we have either cosine theta equals negative 1 or cosine theta equals what 1 over 2 so let me start with this one cos of what angle is negative 1 it is only cos of 180 degrees that will give us negative 1 so theta here is equal to um, 180 degrees we are done with this equation but for this um, cos of what angle will give us 1 over 2 cos of 60 degrees is 1 over 2 likewise cos of 300 degrees will give us 1 over 2 so theta here is equal to 60 degrees or theta equals 300 degrees so we have three solutions so far so but let me show you the simplest way to solve this problem cosine of 3 theta equals negative 1 so the question you need to ask yourself cosine of what angle is negative 1 cosine of 180 degrees so it means that the whole of this 3 theta is equal to 180 degrees plus the multiples of what 360 degrees let me show you why remember on the unit cycle if you have a solution right here the moment you add 360 degrees it will come back to that place which we call coterminal angles they have the same ratios this why you can keep on adding multiples of 360 degrees to obtain other solutions but remember we are looking for theta so we can divide both sides by 3 theta is equal to 180 divided by 3 that will give us 60 degrees and 360 divided by 3 is 120 so we have 120 here times n so remember um, the solution is from what 0 to 360 degrees so when n is equal to 0 we have theta equal to 60 degrees plus 120 degrees times 0 120 degrees times 0 will give us 0 plus 60 is 60 so the first solution is 60 degrees then when n is equal to 1 we have theta equal to 60 degrees plus 120 degrees times 1 120 times 1 is 120 plus 60 is 180 this is 180 degrees and when n is equal to 2 we have theta equals 60 degrees plus 120 times 2 120 times 2 will give us uh, 240 plus 60 that is 300 so theta is equal to 
300 degrees and uh, lastly you can choose when when n is 3 but the moment you choose n equal to 3 this will give you 360 um, plus 60 that will give us uh, i think 420 which is beyond 300 because they say we should start from 0 to 360 therefore we have these three solutions 300 180 and 60 which we obtain previously you can see them here one two three so i told you this is the simplest way of solving this problem thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye, -bye.